Let's see, maybe again, or the American scene, I guess, in general. You're let's, really, you're reeling this out let, already. Let's see, if, let's see if Def can roll it back for the boys. Um, yeah, I'm excited, man. I, I, I want to see something out of this team. I think it goes without saying for me, Malbs and Swish are the absolute win factors over towards M80. They are going to be the ones to make a serious, serious difference coming in towards this. That running screen slacks as well is a beast. Ainge is a very good map for Orbers as well. Why would you not just get a smaller keyboard at that point? Half of it's hanging off the damn table for crying out loud. M80, they're going to be starting on the C side. Odic, of course, choosing to start on that CT side. If you choose second on the picks and bounds, you choose the side you start on. A lot of mid presence underway and it's three versus three. Let's see who comes out on top. Flash comes out from M80. No trades as of yet. No frags as of yet, as a matter of fact. And Def already down to four HP. He's like, lads, help me out, please. We need to run. They're heading over towards that A bomb site. Oh, Odic, they called this incorrect. They begin moving over towards that B-bomb site primarily. They stacked up four and M80. They had a completely open site and they've gone, no, let's roll it back. It's like a double bluff in both people's minds right now. This is a good game. The reason they're going towards this is because Swish has pushed so far forward yeah. and he hasn't been tested yet. Nobody's pushed down ramp. Nobody's even, even tested through shelves. So I think the thought process, they went through Red Room, wrapped through Temple. Yep. For yep. now, there's just going to be a test down through ramp. Atiyah's got a flash in hand, doesn't need to pop it. He's basically an information player here as well. The second it is, he pops the flash, Matias swings with the Julies. It's a lovely setup and a good work one. There's a bit of Utah going to come over. Yeah, Matias will see it. He can't quite block the smoke, oh, but tough. all things considered, they should be fine. And as time starts to tick, they might actually bail on this, which would be a good call. Yeah, look at this. There's so much ground gaining inside the mid right now from Wreck. So that's just going to be the point of contact over towards that B-bomb site, uh, site to be able to continue drawing them through. And Ponta inside of CT, holding on. Oh, he just falls off at the last moment as he hears the steps. Def now got to be st starting to get that bomb planted. Let's see what Ponta can do. He's about to swing out of Palace. Nobody home so far. Over towards CT. Matios goes for the swing. Ponta picks up one. Matios one of his own as well. Ponta trades it straight back. And Malfs finally picking up a kill onto that T site. Now on a two versus four with the lurk coming on round from Slacks as well. This could be massive. Malfs needs to go huge. Just delay for as long as possible. Wait until your teammate gets it. Find the head of one. Looks for the second. Not going to be able to find it. They're on the bomb. Slacks needs to take down Woody. But oh, not going to be the case. And they do manage to get that bomb. Defuse the CT side coming out on top there. A long round and certainly an interesting one. Yeah, for now, Odic, nicely done. I think the approach is quite good by Odic. They hold, uh, held a flash in the pocket. They just mm -hmm. slow everything down. Play as a pack, M80. A bomb plant will alleviate the financial pressures. But all things considered, it's a good start by Odic. A couple of Chris shots being hit there as well by Ponta. It's got to be said, he's somebody that I question, of course, what level we're going to see out of him. He has had really solid moments of time for this team. However, he does lack bits of consistency. So if we can see him, can't they get it's flying? That's when maybe something can work. Odic, for me, are very much a, what I like to call a confidence team, right? When they get confident, when they get loud, when they get proud, this is where Odic do a lot of their best work. Good start. Malbus Lanta back through the smoke. Finds a very important kill there. They gone down early. Will slow things down, and actually, they might not overcommit through double doors here. I think it would be a risk anyway. Yeah, just pump the brakes for a moment. Let the smoke dissipate. Got plenty of time on the clock. Both teams are a little bit weaker than when they started this one. Matios, I mean, he's so close to death at this point. A, a, a brisk breeze would take him out. So he's just going to be holding a, a more of a passive angle over towards that A bomb site. M80 just waiting for some form of lurk right now, but. Isn't happening. Information gained. Hey, they aren't pushing us. All goes quiet. Just shy of mm. a minute to work with. M80 are bunching in through A main here. It feels like a known quantity. You've got one player out through elbow expecting that flank to come through. A guy on shelf as well. He's got all the control. They know that they're going towards A here. That's not where they can hit the shots. Turtle damage with no kill just yet. Yeah, Flash and smoke going to come down as well. And Turtle going to be forced off the angle. They can't get a plan. Surely they can. Oh, Matios has fluffed his line. Swish will punish. And this will flip the conversation a little bit. Double stacking through Temple. Going to invite in pressure here. Odrick in a lot of trouble. I don't think they realize how rough this setup is for them. Trade. Good for one. Woody doubles it down, but he gets dropped there by Malbs. And so he's a win factor. And it's him and Swisher. A combined score here, it should be done. I don't think they've got a chance here, Ponta. No, Ponta's just looking for consolation breaks. If we can find Malbs on the back lines and... Oh, oh there's shadow. the shadow. I don't, I'm going to be honest with you. I don't think Candles would uh, emit that large of a shadow, but who cares? Ponta's going to be able to find that kill onto Malbs. He is going to escape with his life, as is Swisher. But the M80 side, they come out with one thing that's incredibly important, a point on the board. It's 1-1 now. And forced by round with the uh, with the Gleals, a couple of AKs brought up as well. 
They're yeah. going to be pretty content with that one. They're going to have enough money to be able to buy here as well. Def not going to have the, the best weaponry, ensuring, well, MAC-10 looking to ensure he doesn't do a Dexter here. Yeah, well, I think he probably could go in towards the likes of a Galil if he wanted, but I don't mind the MAC-10. I think especially when you know you're cool. coming against a little bit of a lesser buy on the other side. Obviously, in these early rounds, forced by wars, that you have to force by the Arctic here. You're on double eco anyway, so you have to go back in for a buy yourself. Squeeze together whatever you can, and that's a double MP9 and a double upgrade of the pistol on side that saved them four. It's not the greatest. But they're going to try and hopefully use that MAC-10 up close against the pistols, against the MP9s, and lacking of head armor. See whether he can do it. Nate's got the right idea. Swing. You might find Malbs there if he just peers around the corner. This is not easy. Slack in the corner. Jesus. Flash is not good. Anti for Matios. We'll get one with the back ten. trying to answer back and can't. Death gets oh, dropped by Ponta. And then eight doesn't quite find its form. Three versus three. Woody and Turtle back to oh. it. A labored spray, but Malbs will find the kill. As Woody falls, this will now change things. Yeah, this angle really benefits Ponta, though. Knows that Malbs, well, at least for a brief couple of moments, was locked into the corner. Off angle being held. Able to come out on top there. And well, with Turtle, P250 in hand. If he can find Wreck here, he's a stat there. Well, he does. There we go. Cool. Makes it a little bit expensive for M80 in that one. And that was um, a lot closer than I think either side would have liked. I think Odic are like, oh, okay, fine. Like, we forced into that one. We probably should have gained a little bit more. But finding three kills, dropping them down to like 30 HP each as well ensured that they don't go quietly as M80 secure themselves another round. M80 jersey's pretty cool. It is. I like that one. So far, so good. All goes quiet now as well. We'll yep. be a low buyout towards Onyx. We're not expecting all that much here. Off the back of that force by failure, we'll leave them a little reeling in terms of the finances. So, M80 got space to work with. A little bit of room to start to snowball just a tad. Matias going to play up close. I don't think he's going to be given all too much. Def, he's been given the unfortunate role of, well, unfortunately, cannon fodder. It kind of feels like at times. Mac 10 going to try and get up close here. They've got a good, decent chance. It's pistoled. Pistols, you know, unarmored. Yeah. Fleshy beings, mate. This is a, a <laughs> real opportunity to maybe get a couple of frags on the board. Fleshy beings is a fantastic way of putting uh, unarmored players. Yeah. <laughs> this is an opportunity. I, I like this from Def. Yeah, I, I mean, it is just very much, hey, Def, can you can you do something with this, please? Like, we're kind of expecting it to be an eco, so he's going to be the first place that they see. And well, he uh, trousers firmly around his ankles, even though Woods Blind is going to be able to find that kill. This is not clean from, uh, from M80. And yes, while they are easily going to be able to secure the round, it looked a little bit challenging. Odic got a bit more than what M80 were looking to, to lose in that round. I think they were relatively content if Def got traded after he picked up a kill. We didn't even find that. And then Mobs falls to the wayside as well. They were more expensive than they would have been expecting, but ultimately they do manage to commit to that third round. Um, I mean, with AKs against USPSs. If they mm. didn't commit, it would have been a sin. Um, Good round from Wreck. Yeah. He actually bails them out quite importantly there. Those opening two kills really changed their control over towards the A site. And we'll get a little bit quiet off the back of it. Now we're going to see a bike and come back out for Arnick. And a good opportunity yeah. as well. We need to see a little bit more out of them. I'm really interested to see what the call from Woody is here. He's somebody who, like I said, for me still, despite the tenure with MRBR and Flux, it feels a lot underrated in terms of how good of a caller he can be. We'll see what we get out of him. Slacks just looking to get a lot of ground early doors with the flash coming in spot now Matios looking to be able to take him down also but not going to be the case as of yet has to pull back back into the corner kind of locked in right now looks to see if we can find Woody but oh, they both get traded damage here Slats gets dinked in the process so he's going to be next to no help for the rest of this one Util going in 90 safe for now does reveal his position and couple of seconds remaining and wow Swisher just stares at him as he does the jump peak. Not gonna be able to hit any shots that way around though. Tempting fate a little bit but Nighty that. Double snacking coming through. Nighty Borning bringing over support may I say. Gonna get tested. Good corner. Death will hit the steps. Unexpected one up close. And it will take a little bit more damage than the hoe. Death falls. Pistol whipped out and he gets two. I said if this man can step up he could be the one to make a difference. And he will. That's such an important second kill and Malbs and Slacks on exactly healthy. This could be messy. Lining up more, dropping them down three to his name as he will fall. And I mean, Wreck will answer back, but even still, this already feels like it could be a lost round in contention. Woody, 
He's reclaimed space. 25 seconds of the clock. And Macy have not got time here. They might just be calling it. Oh, yeah, that timing as well. Rec was lucky to uh, escape with his life. They are just going to be saving these AKs. I mean, the fact that Slats got dropped down to 18 HP without seeing a soul, um, just spamming through smoke and getting completely bodied, basically. <laughs> Took him out of the round early doors. It's really interesting. The fact that um, we see... Uh, M80 chuck the molly in through cave and they hear it burning and they're like, oh, night is falling off. That was the only person in there, surely. And then they swing the corner yeah. and it's just like, oh crap, there's there's another dude there and he's gunned down two of us and oh, actually yeah. a third of us and now the game's over. So yeah, I, I mean, really strong hold there from, from Odic um, to kind of stake their claim and say, this B-bomb site is not easy for you to take like previous. Big issue there for me, M80 spacing was very rough. Didn't look great coming through that shelf position. Even the ability to ice it there. I think for Swish, I don't think he realizes Death trying to take a fight as early as he is. It is a little costly. A couple of forlorn faces there towards M80. Not all doom and gloom just yet. Still got the lead in their favor. Still got money for a buy. Need to worry just yet. We're going to go back to the bit of an old fan favorite. These smokes over on the B bomb site to be able to draw people over have done the exact opposite. We're not seeing Odic rotate at all. It's the first time we've seen early smokes committed from the T spawn. And now they're just completely waterfalling out with that A bomb site. Ponta manages fine two and Malbs trades it straight back. But oh, Malbs might just be able to get them out of this one. Woody going to be able to molot uh, get Molotov off. It's not going to spread to him. It does get extinguished. Gives him that opportunity to be able to swing out onto the bomb site. Bomb now going to get tapped. Oh, it's so close to right. take him down. Oh, Rick. He gets dropped down to 12 HP. He's not taken down. He's still a rifle in the round. Swing onto the corner, Malbs, in just a couple of moments as Nighty takes down one, takes down a second also. Swisher, full HP, the highest HP player on remaining three players, but either way, only good for one. The third round on the board there from Odic. It was an interesting attempt there from M80, but a great read from Odic not to falter off the back of those mollies. Odic are falling back on fundamentals and it's working. Shadow spotted through main. And gotta be said, Ponta. Anchoring up on towards the top elevated so area important. here. So well done from him. Two kills coming through. Nice and simple. That man stepping up again in a big, big way. Nice and aggressive on the retake. I love to see it. Turtle getting nice and aggro as well, which is what we want to see. Turtle is such a prolific rifle. If this guy gets going, granted, he doesn't play some of the more favorable positions. I would say kind of 90 is more in that sort of position, but overall, good to see. M80. We said they're going to get tested. This Odic's had a no joke. Ranking wise, many people might not look at Ooh. them, but they can cause a couple of problems. There's one. <gasps> Make that two. Malm's the madman going to find the doubles. He looks to add more misery to the Odic Ross. They're spotted on the jumpy. Playing up close here. Just going to fall away. Resmoke to come through. Odic don't need to face it. Swisher could use this as an advantage as he wants. He keeps going for this jumpy. It's working. Probably going to get punished at some point. But for now, they got the numbers. Yeah, speaking about punishment, it was the sloppy Molotov inside of mid. There was a small angle in where um, he could hold. And uh, I mean, he just comes out absolutely on fire. Mal's finding two kills off the back of that of Turtle, not clearing it. Should still be around that Odic can secure here, though. They do have the weapon advantage. You need to be cautious about how much ground they give away over on this B bomb site because they are just running for the hills. And if you. Uh, there's no way they're calling for us eight. No, they're just, they're just positioning over towards the airborne side. There's plenty of time. Like, the, the fact that they're even having to think, okay, we're going to have to have a little bit of a weaker hold on B here. They've got pistols. Like, that's not a thought process that you really want to be having. And the fact that we've got a complete B bomb site now, there's nobody home. Like, Odic, I don't think can retake this at this point. No, they have to gamble. That's the main thing. And they call for a gamble to 50-50. It's a coin flip, and it doesn't go well for them. Bomb to go down. This is good. Just like Mal's being like, right, everyone get in your positions, hold your angles. I don't want to be planting this bomb and get swung from a random spot. Just regimented. It's clean. They've got everything clear, so it's yeah. fine. I don't, it was just the last little checks coming through. And that will be the save. I didn't go for a gamble over towards A. It's actually a right call because the default so far for M80 is a. over towards A. So it's a decent gamble, but it doesn't actually work out for them. All things considered, Malbs. Single-handedly winning that round for them. Really nice. He's done a couple of entry kills. Four and with the Deagle. Just giving a little bit too much leeway in through Elbow. Like you said, sloppy Molotov. And they don't really expect it. It's a weird thing. It's one of those things. It's not actually a lined-up Molotov there. They throw it on the fly. Yeah. And it does cost them quite a lot. Going for it on here. I don't mind this. They obviously will have money in the back pocket of the bomb plant. And the round win. Any more guns they could fire out of the tail end could be nice but it isn't to be. Looking over towards the CT side, they might have a little bit of a tough time. 
Their economy has never actually been built up all that much, so they're going to struggle to buy around it. I don't know if you want to force it, but it's a conversation Odic are going to have. I, I actually would maybe say the gamble here would be to go for a force, go in towards upgraded pistols of, of what you can, if you can, because you can have enough rifles to work with. It's Woody's going to pick up that. the AWP. I like this call. It's about time somebody picks it up. Slacks inside are going to do exactly the same. Pound for pound, I would say Slacks is the better player in terms of raw orping, but can Woody outplay him? We know he's somebody who has a great mind for the game, and speaking of, so does Def, who's getting pretty vocal here, trying to figure out what the next play is. This is a... Incredibly crucial swing round. A low buy for M80 off that round there. It was so they won. And now when we look towards Odic, both sides don't exactly have stability built up in terms of the economy. Hopefully. You look at individuals like Def, not exactly rich. Wreck, same for him. This is a good opportunity. If M80 can win this, they can snowball a bit. I mean, you, you made a really fair point. Uh, I think it was on like round three or round four is the fact that, okay, this is back and forth. This is just gonna be forced buys for the rest of the half. And like, it's basically what it's turned into at this point. Like a couple of frags here and there, and that's only the extra money you're getting left, right, and center. So we're gonna be seeing buys up from Odic. We're gonna see buys up from M80. Is anyone gonna be able to establish a decent economy? No, there's no savings in the bank account. There is pocket lint available for them. And I don't think the arms dealer takes that as currency. 90. Bit of an angle being held here. Def and Malbs, they need to make a commitment here. Do they expect him close as well? Well, they didn't. <laughs> but Def is good on the flip to be able to take down 90. As a second player to fall. And now in this three versus five. Oh, well, wait, that a three versus four as Turtle finds a kill inside of mid. His second of the game so far. I like this call. Yeah. They're just pumping the brakes here. Respecting their opponents, right? Because it, it's, it's too easy for them to just go... We're going B now off the back of those two kills. It's okay, we've got our frags. Now let's think about this. Let's see what we can find on our back lines. Ensure we're not getting flanked because we still have some information we're not too clear about. And we've got plenty of time to play with due to the timings of these kills. More smoke's going to be deployed, but once again, over towards the other on site when they do it. Wait and see what they can do. Malb's going to the charge. What do you get range? Or reeling off for one. Looks for more as well in the corner. Slack is going to be tested. Woody. Waiting as nobody comes through main. Gonna be hers sooner rather than later. Time starts to tick. M80 under a little bit of pressure as they're coming in for support. It's crumbling, it's falling apart. They call for the gamble back towards A. <gasps> That's their default. It's falling flat, but in the 1v2. Swisher can't quite do it. Woody, that one kill through Donut completely hold to them. They did not expect that to be the call. And Odic, once again, they go for a gamble. They gamble A and M80 fall into the trap. Yeah, it's just the... Cool, site's clear, guys. Don't worry. Oh, my God, God I've just been orped. Uh, do we still go? Uh, yeah, okay. Like, the slight hesitancy that you have there, that you have to slow down, just completely allows the uh, the CT side of what it's uh, kind of just develop a little bit more, gain that CT foothold as well. It was a nice opening pick here from Turtle, but it was all on Woody when he found that kill there. Um, I think it looked like that Swisher was kind of expecting the CT-sided player to be deeper as well. His crosshair placement wasn't where he wanted it to be. I think if he finds that one, maybe there's a world if he had like, maybe a bit of util to be able to recover something, but that's not the case. Either way, it's 4-4, and once again, a force buy, this time from the side of M80. Galil's almost crossed the board. Yeah, squeeze out the orb, though, I guess, is the main thing. Yeah, go for it. Swisher. MP9 trying to get up that feisty, but it's because they push ramp. This is a great shell take, but surprise to nobody. They're going to head in the direction of A. Slash going to be smoked here, so he looks towards the rifles to get a little mileage. And Ponta, the Anko has been called upon time and time again. Looks for a second and he'll find it. Pistol whipped out blind. for the orb, but he can't quite <gasps> do it. Slash lines them up with a collapse. Bomb can go down. And a safe plant as well behind the flames. M80 have made this a doable affair. Two versus three. And Death caught upon. But it oh. slacks for one before he traded by Woody immediately. Death needs to roll back the years looking for a major rest performance. He's done it once before. <gasps> Looks to do it again. There's one. Oh. Can't quite make it the second. And the trade will come through from Matios Death. Nice try. No cigar in that one. Matriotic extending that lead. That round does not get anywhere near as close as it does unless Slax gets that Colat. It lines up perfectly for him, literally. Being able to find those two kills opens it up. Of course, finding another one, but Woody then trading it straight back is so, so important. Matos incredibly aggressive, actually. I missed that. Him just like running it down. Ramp over towards that B-bomb site. Yeah, look at that lineup. It's so clean. 
And then Def, I, I mean, it was an amazing hole. Being able to catch Woody with his trousers firmly around his ankles, with Util in hand, it's not good for the fair fight. On to the next one. But no force by Neo. We are finally going to be seeing just upgraded pistols. Um, I mean, they converted the last round they did this, but it was off the back of a couple of frags inside of mid. Oh. And there's your Colat this round as well. As Turtle takes down Slacks and Swisher in the process. No more, um, no more Hail Mary round for M18. So I was getting very proactive on the CT side. He's actually been playing a lot throughout mid and donut. This time opts to go through ramp. He's also at his moments pushing through a main too. Death, nice shot. And the main is a little bit more expensive than it probably wanted to be. It was so close there. Look for another. And Death, oh my god, nearly makes it something out of nothing. Even the fact that that goes down to one Frodic is a lot more expensive than they would have hoped for. They've got no money now. There was a couple of players on like 3.3k with nothing to buy. Like, okay, you're gonna be buying like MP9s, MP9s in this round. It's yeah. like, th this isn't what you need to be doing when you're going up against a pistol buy. Certainly messy, but God, oh, I mean, you mentioned it in the previous. Death rolling back the years and evidently still crisp on the Deagle as well. Yeah. Turtle still getting loud and this is the momentum that they need though for Roddick. Yes, they secure the round, which is incredibly important. Gaining that sick, now just one away from securing the half. But, oh, Melbs, oh, that's a lot more damage that you want to Yeesh, take, my friend. Oh, dear. He actually gets caught. It's a bit of a clipping issue on that corner. He gets caught round him. He gets double molly too, so... Oh, wreck. Left, right, good night. Burns to a crisp. Ponta had the push, had the moment. And it slips away from its grass, right between the fingers, it'll force. Wishing to drop Molotov on the corner. Spots one. I want to fight this. There's a decent spam angle for this. Just going to drop a nade instead. Gets Ooh. the angle, gets the spam. Not quite the kill. Most importantly, information. They're going to call over support. Double stack in through excavation in the close area. Getting this jack control is actually been a real priority for it. It's worked well. It gives them a lot of leeway to push down ramp and get a lot of control there. So far, minute to work with. M80 again, kind of calling it quiet, calling for a little bit of a break. Is he going to be expecting death pit? No, he's not at all. So deep in red rooms, we had to take down Matios, and that brings us to a level playing field. But with Woody holding on to the corner, Flash goes in. He might just re-swing this one. Oh, he can hear the steps. He's be cautious. Not going to be able to find that kill on Swisher. He comes out on top instead. Now in a four versus three. B-bomb site appears to be the point of contact through the smoke wreck, finding another one. Lucky to still be in this round, of course, off the back of Ponce's whiff. He comes back with a vengeance. 11 bullets in the mag here for Wreck, and oh, unfortunately, it's not just one that he needs to be able to secure it. A little bit of a laboured engagement as Turtle takes him down. They might call it here. Yeah, I, I don't think they think are. Look at the money, bro. The biggest problem, I think, with, with giving this one a go is more the fact that they have no util to work with. Yeah. If they had a smoke and a flash, I think they can actually probably poke and prod for a kill in through Jag. But overall, they're going to call it. And that's going to be M80 closing the gap to within one, heading into that final round of the half. Making this a feasible T side, all things considered. But real question marks do lie now with Odic. But he's not exactly going to be brilliant on the other side. If he chooses Look the right angle, Def might have a timing here. Oh, oh, no, they, they, hide. Head. they hide. They hide. Also, they can hear him as well. They, they know there's no point fighting. Even given the risk of dropping a rifle here is not to be. Now the question is, what's the buy around it? Because it's not exactly like Ponta and Turtle can even drop it all too fruitfully. So it's going to be MP9s to join them. It looks like Ponta actually going to drop the M4 over. And he's going to wield the MP9. But I guess being that A anchor, we're in a lot of these close range positions. He likes being elevated up towards that shelf area himself. So maybe, maybe there's something to work with. Final round of the half. We find ourselves a one-round game, but M80, a very, very good opportunity to make it all square at the top of the half. Much better buy. Yeah, on paper, this should be their round to just secure. Turtle, a lot of ground gained here. And, oh, the nade clearing the smoke, taking down Malbs, who's been trying to get this mid-control round off the round, and most of the time it works. This time, Turtle, basically playing an anti-Malbs angle at this point. Inside of the cubby is Swisher. Nighty, thinking about continuing the push up. I mean, has that known. smoke back up? I think he is now as well. Turtle, yeah. Spam comes down. Managed to take down Swisher. So much. Look, look at the ground. I, I mean, there's just no approach over towards B now at all. Every single angle, maybe with the exception of Red Room, is locked down. 
And this was a round in which, on paper, M80 should have secured. They had the four AKs with the AWP from Slacks as well, and they just haven't been able to convert anything with it so far other than chip damage. Ponta's going to be on the back of site behind Big Box, and he's just got an MP9, but he's not going to reveal himself at all. And I wonder if they respect this at all. I wonder if they can think that he's going to be holding here. Ponta could go absolutely huge, because right now, everyone's swinging onto the bomb site. Slacks isn't thinking about it. Takes down one, takes down two. There you go. The MP9 out on top and a seventh round for Odic as we move on to second half. Yeah, really nice to by Ponta at the tail end, but I gotta say that round was one by Turtle. Great mid control coming through. Very easy fight being found on towards Malus, but most importantly, continuing to ramp through shelf. Mm -hmm. It's one of those big things, Swisher. The, the, the steps were heard running out on towards that sort of alley area, but then once they push down ramp, nobody's towards doors, nobody's over towards Jag or Caves. They're like, okay, well, he has to be in towards Cubby. Seed off nicely. Really, really good work from Onik. A side who had, you know, some janky econ moments, but all things considered, that's a really decent CT side. They, they, they're taking it towards M18. You, you can really see a lot of these inconsistencies of M18 coming through. They're, they're missing bits of that experience. And not even just the experience and the calling of Manx, but also the frag as well. This is a guy yeah. who actually, by, by most standards, was a pretty decent fragging IGL on his day, especially when he was over here, uh, you know, in Europe, playing within kind of the upper echelons that tier two scene. The guy was no slouch. Just heading in towards the second half. Arctic going to call for their second attack pause. And it's a good opportunity for them. They know how important. Win a pistol here, and you really could start to spiral. The biggest thing is for Arctic is not only winning the pistol, winning the force. Something they failed yep. to do in that first half. That's when you can really start to use it in their favor. M80 winning that force by on the T side. And basically getting a bomb plant in that first pistol round massively helped them out. It could have been a pretty uncomfortable round bar that. Yeah, or it, uncomfortable half, that is. It made, like, the first six or seven rounds, like, incredibly, like, back and forth. Because yeah. everyone, no one had money. Like, it was just, okay, well, we buy this, we buy that, we buy this. So we're, we're yet to see uh, either of these sides just build up on, like, previous rounds' uh, achievements. Let's see what happens here, though. M80 going to be... Uh, well, Kameh pretty large inside of mid here, looking for as much control as possible. I'm not particularly surprised to see Malms over there once again. This side of him is on the CT side. Swisher, Jewelies in hand, looking for at least a kill for each. And there's a couple of heads nice. there. Nice is going to be the first one to fall. Masios going to get taken down by Malms as well as he gets aggressive over towards uh, mid. Brett has to fall back, and now here comes your execute. Out on rack, Swisher, looking for another one. Picks up one, former Woody, looking for a couple more here as well. Head not found on Ponta. Instead, Ponta finds Swisher and takes down those dual Brett. Looking for one of his own is Turtle, and now in one versus four. Ponta, eight bullets in his mag. Needs to be incredibly cautious about how he would swing this one. Takes off the head of Wreck. Looks for that USPS to be able to increase that range, but Malbs comes out on top, holding the angle, and a sixth round there for M80. Now, this is the momentum that we need to be seeing from M80. It needs to start spiring. They need to win this force. If not, we just get a repeat of what we saw earlier, where it's just yeah. back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Not too bad. Slowing things down, I think, is the big call here. Bomb plant, of course, will mean a buy out for Odic. Gonna have rifles at least to work with in some degree, whether that's Galil's, maybe even towards the likes of Mac 10s. I think probably the play here off the back of the bomb plant is to buy in towards this. Mm. Odic know they've had success. And they're going to go for that. They're going to go for the force. They've had success on the force before. Why not? You've also got a round in arrears anyway. The to hero try and make game. something out of this. But yeah, it's going to be Ponta hero making as well. Which is interesting. Ponta is, on terms of this T side, not exactly the main guy I look towards in terms of getting mileage. Normally would be the individuals like 90 or, 90 or, or Turtle. Turtle, right? More of those guys who play with in that pack a little bit more. So we'll see. We'll see what Ponta can do. So we're going to come down to his elbow once again. Rhett gets a lot of mid-control here. Now, as they start to move their way and realize, well, no one's towards B, we've got mid-control for free, they in one or two positions, either lurking through A main, which is why we see that rotation come through from slacks, or behind the elbow smoke, which is why they're sticking around in towards mid. Due to the shorter halves now, obviously, force buys have been coming a lot more prevalent. We're seeing it a lot more at the pro level. Hero AKs. When was the last time you saw a hero AK buy? It's been a, it's been a minute for me, at least. It's been a while. <laughs> I mean, I relatively got me, but it, it, you think so? It's the scene. It's more. It's the scene, not not the game. As well, how I put it. It's Fair enough. Love little hero, AK. See, that's that's my own experience of SA. There we go. <laughs> I'm here for it though. I'm here for it. I mean, if Ponta's able to find a couple of frags here, they're really running this timer down. Oh, spotted. This is good from yeah. Death. Information gain. I'm slowing things down. The biggest asset to M18 this round is the clock. Time starting to tick. Just shy of 40 seconds. Give them the shelf control. It's not even a problem for Slacks because he's got information that they're not going towards there Donut. But Death's got to hit that shot. That's the big caveat. Switch up close. Oh. Catches Woody. The bomb, bomb dropped as well. But the right player as well should get him. Will. Matios trades himself out. 
Punter will fall to the hands of Malves this round, crumbling off the back of one error from Woody. Didn't expect Swisher pushed so far forward, and it's all going to be locked out beautifully. That round went off the back of Swisher. One kill, bomb dropped, and it rolls uncomfortably forward. And that is all she wrote. Really nice setup coming through from M80 in that one. You've got Slacks in towards Red Room, holding the donut push. They don't care if they go through main because it's retakeable. All they have to make sure is that they're not split upon on towards that site. Then it gives the Temple guy all the con uh, kind of confidence to work with. It's a great little setup. If Death hits the shot, it's perfect. It doesn't, but it's not the end of the world because Swisher is the insurance policy. 7 all. M80 making a game out of this. But Olic now back into a truthful buy of their own. And Turtle's going to play behind that Molotov. I ain't get a chance there. Def going to try and stick up close and personal. Needs to be careful. We'll just drop a smoke, thankfully. MP9. Not to get swinging. Yeah. But Swisher won't. Nice find. Woody's going to fall as well. To the hands of Malves. Hang on a second. M80 have come out the gates flying. They're really not giving Olic an inch here. The second they step foot even close to their bomb set. No, no, no. This is ours. Get out of it. We're not dealing with it. A lot of mid control gained, a lot of jag control gained, and hell, even cave is underneath. CT hold. Matthew ups. Oh, little angle pixel being held. Slacks. Wow. Crouch. Just not ready for it. Was Matthew Smells now. Close angle. Looking to be able to take down the final one. A turtle needs to go massive here with this AK, and it's not going to be the case. It's going to be an eighth round on the board, and the lead now for M80. There we go. Starting to get vocal. Starting to feel it a little bit more now that they are in that more advantageous position. Five rounds. All they need now to be able to close out this one and go 1-0. And the final timeout now being called here from Odic. They just take a beat and think, OK, this is slowly getting out of our hands. Yeah, I'm looking to Woody here as well. Man with arguably the most experience on the server. Maybe Barter, so if you, if you want to make that kind of degree. But I think Woody is somebody who's taken teams like MIBR and Fluxo towards majors and teams who now actually ever since then have not looked all that great, in all fairness, right? Let's not be here on the bush, you know. Fluxo, in flux, I think, goes without saying. And MIBR have looked at here, there, and everywhere. So, we were in flux for a second. Then. Lot, yeah, a <laughs> lot, uh, lot of owners, I think, on him to try and bail out this team, especially some of the more in inexperienced names on the server. I'm looking at the likes of Pot uh, Ponta and Matia, some guys who haven't had all that much experience on, on decent international lands. What can Woody do to try and alleviate the pressure that's upon their shoulders now as M80 start to close the gap to the all elusive 13? Will be a low bar. They're going to pop through that oh. elbow smoke. Tech Nines are close. Can be messy. Will be. A combination of two, but it's certain to find that second. This could be a little bit more janky than M80 were hoping for. Get caught napping. Pants down their ankles. And they will get a bomb plant out of this. Already, Oddy can take a silver lining and a win out of this round, regardless of the way it goes. Yeah, Malb's just going to full send now. Now the Molotov's gone. Now there's just no more util for the T side. They just need to full send. And he's going to try and find this kill onto Woody. He looks to recover the, the rifle, but that's not going to be the case. Ponta, quite a passive angle inside a donut. And oh, there is Slacks on the lurk. All that's going to be required. And unless Ponta has an absolute miraculous round here and now revealed position, it's over and done with as Slacks from range finds the second for himself as well. But I'm going to get the fuse and M80. They find themselves a knife. But yeah, that was uh, certainly a bold attempt through mid. Yeah. It worked though. Hey, I mean, M80, double Molotov, and they just expect, you know, they assume it's like a wall, but they disregard it. I, I quite like that from Oddy. They've got to get something out of that round. They've got a minimum, I can a, 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 a bare minimum scenario. They've got to get a bomb plant. That's going to give them, of course, not only kind of the rifles out, potentially even an AWP as well, if they want to tease that AWP. Is a question mark when they want to go for it. They will. Tease that AWP has been a little bit weird. Uh, for Oddy, it's not exactly been all too favorable for, towards Woody, so we'll see what he can do with it. But the biggest thing as well is just getting all the trimmings, right? Getting the use around that belt, gonna restack him up and give them a chance. Molotov, smoked out. They're gonna play up close here as well, and Swisher gonna try and join him for a fight. Spam on the corner. I actually pushed through this, you look intensive. Molotov will force him back, and Swisher gonna respect it. Yeah, nice, he wanted to get aggressive there. Completely extinguished the Molotov that was blocking him off early doors just so we can gain up that foothold. And all oh, the flash goes in, but the Molotov does just swap foot Swisher from swinging out on onto him. Jag control now under T ownership. Just peeking on the corner, Swisher. Kind of expecting someone to try and rip his head clean off. And well, nice, he tries it. 
So Molotov comes in, forces Shots. back and slacks off the back of the boost to be able to take down Woody. Nighty, fantastic spray control to be able to take down Malves and Slacks. Gets that revenge off the back of his teammate. Death inside of mid, looking for control onto Turtle and isn't he going to be able to find it? First bullet wasn't clean, doesn't matter though. Swisher, nine bullets in the mag, looks for the head of Nighty, not going to be the case. He's done so much in this round so far, three kills to his name, does get tagged down a little bit more. Round begins slowing down as they fall back the bomb in no man's land. All of that work made, Nao. It's just going to fall to the wayside, but they have drawn them over towards that B-bomb site. Now they can hot foot it over towards A with the bomb. 30 seconds. Got to make a decision here. This is the charge. He's down to 32 points of HP. But he's going to get some leeway to work with. And he can leverage his way out. Death up close. Shadow spotted, but he will get the kill nonetheless. 1v2 and Ponta's alone. He's going to be given the site, the luxury of it. Rex arguably over rotating a little bit here. So Bomb gonna go down, they'll hear the plan, and now oh, they're doubling back for a rotate. The real issue is Ponta's only got a molly to work with. He drops it towards CT now. He buys himself so much time and he does the beautiful work. M80 might even be calling for a pause, uh, you know, in a second off the back of this one. An over rotation could cost him the round. Ponta on the corner. Might be given the chance here. Swing, fine. Knows the other's cross as well as he heard the steps. He now hears the jump as well. Death fumbling around, trying to find his way to the round. And Ponta lines up damage, but not the kill. Death it. might just stick it. Balls of steel from the UK. Oh, Nobody comes oh, off it. Half a second left and he'll let it fall. Ponta's going to find the round. But why did Death come off the bomb? Half a second left. Cluttered comms will cost M80 a round and Death a brutal error. He's going to allow Oddic back into this game. That could be costly. Committed for four and a half seconds. At yeah. that point, you just have to commit to it, Def. He's, he, we, can't, we can't air on it too, too much. Like He's going to be upset about it. it. Might put him on tilt for like all of 10 seconds. But this was an amazing play from Oddic. Let's not take anything away from them here. Quantum maybe gave a little bit too much respect to his opponents off the back of the, uh, off the, back of the stick. But either way, it was a great entry from them and being able to draw their opponents over towards that A-bomb site in a, in a two versus two situation as well to eventually convert the round. Hang on. Great play from them. Hang on. What on Ponta earth is happened already here? out towards A through Temple. There's no way they expect this, and this is now a real issue. It's a timing play. The bomb's going to go towards A, right? This is the, the big call. The big question is what info they gain through Red Room. But yeah, Wreck, not a clue in hell. There's no one playing through Donut because they heard the util earlier. That Molotov that came down. Smoke them out. Really smartly played. Man, Oddic have got the round off the Mac of just one man's antics. Yeah. And Ponta now holds the rotations too. Molotov will come down. Bomb Plant will come down as well. And they kind of get up close and personal. Finds one. Malbs will trade. I don't know whether they want to give this retake a go. Death's yeah, not got a lot of money. Slack's got no money in an orb. There's no way they can reinvest into it. So they're going to save, but they might not even be given that luxury because look who's waiting. Matthew for one. Oh look at for two, and he'll find it as well. Rips Malbs' head off his shoulders. And leaves Slacks reeling, tail tucked between his legs. He looks to try and save this orb. And Odic, man, are they flying. I said, do not sleep on this side. Bit of magic left in that locker. That goes without saying. Slacks going to find one. A drop of smoke. That goes without saying. He's going to be hunted to a degree, but they're not going to get there in time. Yeah, they don't have the money to like fully hunt him down. But what's the, what's the con there from Woody? It's... Hey, Ponta, can you see if you can go A and just find something for us? And it's like, I am in CT. It's like, wait, the, the round's like 15 seconds deep. How are you in CT already? Finds that kill, and then from there, it, it's, it's all said and done. There, there's nothing else you can find from that. It's a ballsy play. Ponta, somebody who you know, essentially plays a lot of those lurk positions for yep. Oleg on that T side. He's not actually given a lot of leeway to work with individually. See what it means to them, though? They're getting hyped. Nine all. The backbone of M80, feeble and shattered. Finances in flux. Oh, I close as well. Mal trying to get a little frisky. We all get caught. Let's do some death. I don't mind it. I don't mind it. Why not? He's going to chunk a nade, though, pretty, pretty Come badly. But he's yes! going to get it. Death for one. PK scooped up, but not given time to cock that gun. So Ponta will get a double. It should be the round. Slacks is still alive. There's a chance, but. They don't want to overcommit that at all. Oh, no. 2013 Cody is so happy that the Zeus is actually meta now. Like, <laughs> it's, it fills me with so much joy that we see pros actually buying it. Um, yeah, really keen there from death. It's just a consolation frag, of course. You get no money for a, for a Zeus kill. Yeah. So um, it, it's purely a, haha, you've got to rebuy armor, which yeah. is, is better than nothing, right? Odic, of course, uh, it was a clean round from them. Um, off. 
with the exception of the one zoo skill. Um, a really easy execute from them over on the B-bomb side. Uh, again, all of the kills, if you look in the map in the top left-hand corner, inside of Jag, inside a cave. Yes. That's just where all of the fighting's been happening across this entire game. First half, second half, it's just that control. We're rarely even seeing fights over towards ramp and long. It's purely just, who can get this? Okay, you win it, cool, we're going, yeah. Terrorists on it, first side to crack double digits. That was a throwaway round by most yeah. metrics though for M80. Look and see what they can do with the slight upgrade of pistols, but even that was a big ask. Otic in a really strong position right now. And it looks like I'm going to get a timeout from M80. Otic have used all three of theirs up already, so a good opportunity for a conversation to come through. And of course, I mean, I guess there is advantages around the coach in the server, <laughs> technically speaking. Also disadvantages too, but he's not been doing too bad. He's holding his own. In all fairness, made some pretty tough rolls as well. He's in the in the thick of it, playing out through Jag, one of the most, as you mentioned, kind of hotly contested areas. These are going to come through. I'm sure, Arctic don't respect this. Nine's already out, so doesn't really care. You're going to beckon the rest of the team through, and they're popping here on towards B. Death going to be tested. Famas out. Decides to swing. Decides to find one, and he will. Ponder in for the trade, but the bomb will go down. This is so janky, but through the smoke, I don't know the need to go for that sort of play. That might cost him. Matthias in the flames, tickling the toes. Bit of damage, but now a post plant sets up. Jack's still under CT control as well. So Lurk could come out at any moment from M80 to be able to shut down any form of aggression that... Rex flanking. Yeah, that Woody and Matthias have. Just been holding it for so, so long. He doesn't need to, he actually doesn't need to aggress at this point. Like, he can just swing, wait to see what he can find, but the onus is all on Odic here to be able to make this aggression. And with Matios getting taken down, Wood's like, yeah, never mind, I'm out of here. Oh, it would have been Wreck actually finding that kill if he held the angle instead. Wanted to back up the rest of his teammate. Oh, God, it's, it's really weird. It's like this back and forth where it's like Wood started to leave. And it's like, okay, I'm going to leave as well. Um, they think he's a little bit deeper down over towards T spawn, but they are going to be hunting down for this orb. Um, there's not too much money available for M80 here. So it's going to be a bold one. I don't know if Woody back this. I, I, he's going to try it, but like, it's just going to be so hard. They've did the, the timing, timing man. nearly gets them. Woody's a lucky man to still be alive here, right? Or he actually's playing this. Wreck. The, the best thing he's doing is he's playing behind enemy lines. So <laughs> the big thing of keeping the AWP alive here, it, it gives him something to work with in towards his next few rounds. No question mark. M80 going to tie this game right back up. 10 rounds a piece. Like we said, they can squeeze out a bite. What do they have left in reserves? Not a whole lot. And a real opportunity. So we get towards the tail end of this game as well. It's starting to quite a swing uh, sort of momentum area, mm. right? We, we, we've got a very important round here. Neither side exactly have the most stable funds in the long term. These next round number 21, 22, so damn important. Could actually spiral into the map and the series, of course, in their favor. Legend, of course, these only best the ones here. I think a little bit of info was heard there on that molly. Swisher, still sticking around. I think it was. Got because, the support. Yeah, Nighty's pushed up so deep here, and look, oh, oh if he just Slips stays there. there. Just as the smoke fades, but Swisher's gonna be able to come out on top, and with that, finds Turtle inside of it, also finds Matios in the process, also. Picks up three, Swisher. Doing so, so much there. And again, all comes down to a timing on lane. <laughs> it's round after round. This is where it's happening. He's but a known quantity, though. You can he is, see. He is. They know Alfred where Ponder is at this point. And this is actually a, a really decent adjustment by M80. They're, they're realizing that Odic, they're not all too proficient in terms of how they're going for these AI executes. So they're actually giving them the site because they know they can play retake on it. Especially now in these two versus fours. They know they're all upset alive because it's in the pocket Woody. They know it's going to make their life kind of easy when it comes to those retakes because they can just play the trade game. So it's actually quite a simple little adjustment by M80. Originally, they were actually pushing for information through May and fighting out through Donut as well. This time, now you see individuals like Wreck just anchor towards Donut and, and kind of give them the sight. They, they, they know something's up. You can see Wreck poking around. He's waiting for a lurk. And it's actually, Ponta's going to get a freebie here, which I guess is nice. It's more whether he can line up a couple. Nobody else around. Just confirm the kill, my friend. Or keep your AK alive. You've got a decision here, right? And this is what he's going to go for. Keeping the AK alive. Now, there's, there's blessings and curses to this, right? The, the good thing, you have an AK. The bad thing, you get no money, mm -hmm. right? And I think, all of a sudden, flux. This could be awkward. Rex cleared it. Oh, not effectively. Oh. And he will fall. And if I'm right in saying that, he falls off the time, time there as yeah. well. So, 
Funds are a little feeble. That was really going to hurt. And like I said, winning these rounds of how all over the place both sides of the Econs have been, this could spiral to a couple of rounds. For M80, that could be the decider. Yeah, this is the first time we've seen this, right? I mean, it was the previous round. It was round number 20, uh, where we saw the, uh, the save of the AWP from Woody, and then we saw round number 21 with the save was attempted from Ponta, and now look at him. He's got a P250 and absolutely nothing. No, and he even sells a P250. He just wants a smoke to be able to play around with instead. Um, yeah, this is not looking good for Onik at this point. This needs to be an incredibly influential round from them. They need to make sure that these AKs stick and actually do something here. This because if they die. are just falling to the waist, yeah, this is do or die. You're completely right. Because if they just fall to the wayside and don't find frags, and honestly, the round conversion to be able to bring us 11-11, I think this might be all said and done. No, it is. All, I mean, th th there's one caveat to that. If, if Onik get a bomb plan, they can maybe survive a little bit in terms of squeezing out Galil's, but feeling too confident right now. I don't really think Onik are either. 11 to 10, M80, two rounds away from the all elusive of 13, and they're going to triple stack out through B here. They're grouping up, and the biggest issue as well that lies on the shoulders of Onik, they don't actually have a huge amount of util to work with. So yep. They're fumbling together to try and squeeze out how they're going to exit here. Smoking a flash. Slow drop to Woody. A flash in the back pocket as well. Molotov air burst, though, and that is... That could be huge. They won't get the information. There's actually a quad stack out through doors here. One smoke going to come over towards Long, and they drop their own in towards Ram. This is really good. Swisher might respect that smoke, but he has a lineup looking for the odd spam, but he will get caught. Swisher falls. Bomber goes down, and pressure now on the shoulders of M80 and the retake. We're going to find one. Malb's answering back. Turtle dropped. Numbers dwindling. Chances dwindling. And now death pops for one. It should be enough, it should be all she wrote. Tries to line them up, but Matios needed a miracle here in America, and it's not going to happen. M80 finds 12. I said a bomb plant will allow them some room to work with, but pressure's all on the shoulders here. Odic are in a lot of trouble. If you can't convert it with the AKs, do you think you're going to be able to convert it with the Galils? Though, I would say the main issue there was the fact that Util that was available was a flash and a smoke. Now we're already seeing more than that on a single player. Matios has that what they had in the previous round and then some. Ponta's going to have a little bit more also. There's enough flashes, there's enough Util now for Odic to be able to make a claim of this round. They just need to make sure they don't fall fatal to some silly little errors when they're executing out onto this B bomb site. They're looking for early aggression here. And as the Molotov goes down, Turtle's going to give it to him. He's going to begin pushing on through. Going to look for this opening pick. Mouse has no clue this push has come through at all. And he's lucky to stay alive for a brief, brief couple of moments. But Turtle does end his life. Swisher now. Smoke goes down to be able to cover behind him. He's going to go for the swing. Lines up one. Lines up two. Looks for the third as well. But it's going to be death to be able to find one of those. Looks for one more for himself. And now just the Galil Ponta, who's done fantastic in this game. But it's not going to be enough. It's the 13th round there for M80, and Odic just fall towards the end of that game. An incredibly close one, though. Odic had that one kind of in their grasp, and they let it slip. A couple of very small, you know, mistakes cost them so much. Mm. I'm looking, the big one is Ponta. Dying off the time in that That's really forced bad. them into a fourth.